Hey everybody, welcome to the AI Guide on YouTube where we're making AI human. What does that mean? That means that we are focusing on the human impacts of AI and the associated exponential technologies that are going to radically change the future, like robotics, self-driving, uh, and many other things that we talk about here on this channel. So today I just wanted to briefly mention a video I just saw by CNET on YouTube, and it's called These Robots Are Becoming More Like Humans, and it's just a cool video. You can check it out right now on YouTube. The reason I'm bringing it up is because we've talked about all these companies that are building these robots right now, and those include Tesla and Boston Dynamics, but we've also mentioned Toyota, their videos showing their robot that they're working on. But it's very interesting. Elon Musk said that the Tesla robot will be relatively affordable, less than a car. And once it's rolled out, he expects it to be sold in the millions and it will do all your housework for you. Vacuuming, cleaning, loading the dishwasher, unloading the dishwasher, etc. My, my belief personally is that once this particular type of robot gets commercialized, meaning that the AI works well and the movements work well and the robot is always safe around human beings because it will be in close proximity to human beings, that widespread adoption will happen. Why? Because I spend, I'm going to say, an hour and a half, two hours every evening cooking dinner, eating dinner, cleaning up after dinner. Let's call it an hour and a half. Multiply that by... 365 the days in a year, and you can quickly understand that these robots are going to be massive time savers. And the number I just said does not even include the time spent to clean your entire house or, or apartment every other week. Let's just say you do it every other week. That's four hours times 26. Massive massive hours will be saved by these robots that then you can do other things with. Whatever those are, spend more time with your family or friends or more time out doing other things, which is what companies like Toyota and Tesla are hoping for, right? That all those hours are then spent in cars. So this is this, these robots will be a game changer. And I've mentioned before, and I'll say it again, that we're in the first week of 2023. The advancements in robots in just two years is stunning. When you go to Boston Dynamics website and you look at their videos from two years ago, three years ago versus now and what the robots can do, it's crazy how fast they have improved. And that is speeding up. That improvement is speeding up year over year. So we've talked about how robots will be everywhere in the relatively near future. In fact, I have predicted that by 2025, we'll start to see them in retail establishments, right? One of my viewers commented on Flippy who's going to be cooking burgers, but we're talking also robots in retail stores who recognize you and know what you bought last time and will, will make recommendations for what to buy this time. Robots are already, thanks to the pandemic, roaming airports and shopping malls, doing cleaning and disinfecting, and this is only going to accelerate. So. Uh, we're all going to have to get used to seeing robots in public a lot, which has not really been common yet. It's still a, a great novelty to see a robot in public, but that will not be true within two years. We'll start to see them. And then by 2030, 
there will be robots all over in public making deliveries, uh, acting as obs observers for the police, uh, doing tons of things. So the world is going to change. It's going to change very, very quickly. I've already mentioned that by 2030, so much will have changed in such a short period of time that looking back to 2020 from 2030 will be about the same as looking back from 2020 to 1990. <laughs> that big a difference. <laughs> this is exponential. And that's how exponential worked in my very works in my very last video talked about a prior exponential invention, the telephone. So that's why we started the AI guide to prepare you for a radically different future. Click the link below, get those resources. Click the other link, read my book. You'll learn much more. And be prepared. prepare start to prepare now for careers that will be relatively safe from AI. And those careers involve a human touch. <laughs> Things that require a human touch or that people will prefer a human touch, as opposed to careers that are highly susceptible to automation, like loading and unloading trucks, for example. So thanks for tuning in. Take care. Have a blessed 2023, and we'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.